Hey guys, I'm a weekend bushcrafter. Today I wanted to go over with you my updated EDC. I'm going to be doing an update probably once every couple weeks on things that I'm doing different with my EDC. Um, you know, there's a few purchases I made. A couple of them you may have seen um, in previous videos if you go back and watch some of them. So some of it was cordage. You know, as you've seen before, I was carrying a lighter which I still carry, and I was carrying a small hank of cordage, a little blue stuff. And let me pull this out of this pocket here. So I go from jacket to jacket, that type of thing. But I'm also carrying a, another fire steel with me. I'm carrying my orange lighter that you've seen before. Now a lighter I keep in my pocket, so it's not gonna get cold and not work unless it's just out of fuel. Um, the fire steel, never stops working um, as you've seen like survival lily and everybody else use them you know they just they don't stop working you put them in your pocket you get them wet you get them cold they still fire I mean there's really absolutely nothing wrong with the fire steel they are phenomenal this one here I was <coughs> this one here I was kind of lucky and found one that had glow in the dark which eventually the cap's gonna come off and then I'm gonna have to do something else with it because they're not real stable, but you know, at night, if you lose it, find some, you know, you can pretty well find it. If not, I'm just gonna put duct tape around it anyway. It's just a, you know, two, three dollar fire steel that I picked up somewhere. Um, and then also updated my knife. And this one here is a Kershaw. It's called the knife grinder. It has a little belt clip on it. Quick release, has the frame lock on it has my car to handles so it looked like a pretty solid knife for $25 um, you know it's about the same grade of um, steel as you know 440a which is okay it's not great but you're definitely getting what you pay for but it's definitely an upgrade from my little Sheffield knife which I still have on my you know pocket and it's not near as quick to pull out it's a little smaller as you can see the the size and it's funny because they weigh just about the same and the Sheffield is you know I like the color of the Sheffield it's not a bad little knife it's something I'm gonna put in one of my packs as an extra blade but the Kershaw you know Kershaw has a limited lifetime warranty against effects breaks tip off something like that um, I believe you take them back I haven't really done a whole lot of research on them I just know they're good and a lot of people carry them I've always been told their steel is good now this one here um, actually has chrome molly put into it, so it makes it harder, higher temperature ratings, a um, little hard, different hardness factors and that type of thing, and you know it holds an edge pretty well, and I'm going to be doing a review on this knife um, before too long and seeing like what kind of work I can do. But I also like these little finger toils on the back. You know, it gives you more grip. Um, if you're wanting to press on something, you can press on it pretty hard, and it feels good in the hand. Um, the entire knife is well balanced, you know, from what I've seen, and I've, you know, been carrying it and just bought it today. And then, so, with those few things that I'm starting to carry different, you know, my water bottle I carry, that's not going to change. I always carry that. And, um, unfortunately, when I leave it out in the car or whatever, it's frozen, but I just heat it up and it melts, and, you know, I leave some chunks in there to keep it cold, but, you know, then I have nice ice water, but in cold weather like this, it's you know, drops your core temperature. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Shemag, which I always wear. Um, you know, but other than that, my hank of cordage went up, you know, and I said I was going to go over these knots, and I'm definitely going to go over these knots with you. You know, it's just a quick release method of, you know, how to carry them. So it's just a, okay, well, now I just called myself a liar because it was quick release. Actually, it is. I just went from the wrong end. Um, so it's just pull, and now I've got, you know, however much length my cordage is. It's quite, quite long.
So, so what I have here is 25 foot of cordage, and it's probably a little much for what I need, um, but it's a whole lot better than a 10 foot piece that I've got, and I can actually make a um, make a ridge line with this. I can cut pieces off and use them as um, tent stakes with my stuff that I carry in my vehicle with me. It's you know it does very well for what it is. Um, you know, with that, I can use it as fishing line or whatever else, put some fishing line on the end of it and catch fish. It's one of those, um, you know, it's a length that you really can't beat. Ridge lines between trees, if you find them between 25 feet, you could pretty well set up any, anywhere you want to. Um, in between, you know, however wide you are, I'm, I'm probably a good three feet wide, you know, so... With that being said, you know, I could pretty well set up in between four and five feet all the way out to 25 feet and I could set up my line from there and I could even cut it down and make one foot lines for tent stakes. So I have enough cordage to do whatever I need and I'm gonna carry that little hank too because it virtually weighs nothing. You know, so thank you guys for watching again. Uh, as you know, I'm the Weekend Bush Crafter. Please subscribe to my videos, hit the like button, leave me some comments, and I appreciate what you guys do. Thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day.